Grace and peace. I'm Pastor Renee Teague, the pastor of Enon United Methodist Church in Studley, Virginia, and I'm very happy to announce that Virginia has put forth a plan that we might resume some kind of life. You know, when I was thinking about this plan and listening to the talk and watching how people are behaving now, and then yesterday there was a, a video released that George W. Bush put out. And it brought to mind a lot of times in our country's history when we faced major challenges. You know, we, we walked alongside one another after hurricanes and after the really fiasco and devastation of Hurricane Katrina. And we walked alongside one another and supported one another after the Oklahoma City bombings and after the World Trade Towers were bombed. And we supported one another in those times after that. And we supported one another through so very much. And we've allowed ourselves to become divided over um, issues, over, over things that we have opinions about. And that, you know, that I understand. We don't we don't see abortion and abortion rights or LGBTQ rights and inclusion. We don't see those things the same way. And those are opinions and, and we can disagree about that. But you know, there's a time when it's not, it's not appropriate to disagree. When what we all are supposed to be focused on is what is best for the other people of our country and I'm not speaking from one side or the other. What I see is both groups of people allowing themselves to be divided over something that there is no division. It is no better for the young man to not be able to support his family because he can't go to work than it is for the elderly person and the assisted living to die a horrific death. Neither of those things are acceptable. There's a, there's a point right now when we need more than anything else to pull together. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 4.12, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I invite you other third strands. You know, we got strand one, strand two. Then we got those of us that are third strands that see ways that we should all be together. I invite you other three strands to start trying to weave this thing back together. It's not you or me, it's us. It is us. The Bible tells us over and over again to love one another as we love ourselves and to love our neighbors and to love the Lord our God and to leave space at the margin so there's plenty for the poor and the disenfranchised and to always care for the widow and the orphan and the lost and the least. And this is no time to forget that. Neither the lost or the least that are sick or the lost or the least that are struggling to pay bills. There's no room today for hate. There's no room today for division. There's only space for love and support. Quit trying to figure out the right way to argue the point. There ain't no argument here, people. What we have is a country and a world, a world, Italy and France and Spain. We have a world that is hurting a world that's facing financial ruin and a world that's facing sickness like it's never known. Stop with all of those numbers that have been conflated and rearranged. Trust an expert or two. Ask health care providers. Okay, we have a problem. It's not a yes or no, it's a both and. We have a problem and it is a serious problem it's costing lots of people their lives. And it's costing even more to be very, very sick. This isn't a 24 hour virus. This is weeks and weeks of illness for a lot of people. 
it's time for us to pull together. We are the most creative, the most powerful nation that has ever been. And it's time for us to step up and lead. Not, not argue with one another and not be angry and not deal in all that stuff. Let's lead. Let's don't say we either have to let people die or we have to provide economic um, sustenance for people. Let's say we got to have both. We got to have people living. We got to have people well. And we've got to have a functioning financial economy that can support lives and livelihoods. We got to have them both. Aim a little higher. If we allow, if we allow ourselves to be strands that are separated and broken within our counties and our states, within the states of the union and within the union itself, and if we allow that to happen on a global scale, if we lose our compassion for the people of Europe and the people of Asia, if we lose our compassion for the people of China, you know, a few people in government or in labs may or may not have made decisions, but those regular people on the streets, they're just like you and me. They're just like us. Us. This little blue ball we spin around on, God created out of God's own hands. God created each and every human being on this planet. And it is time for us to pull together. And if our leaders can't lead and pull things together, then it is time for us to do that for them. It's time for us to do that for them. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. And I don't think it would hurt us at all to sing a little, Jesus loves me. But remember that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells me so. The one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. May we be three strands, pulling in one direction toward health and wholeness and well-being. Amen.